to Miss Mealard again. Hi. So, um, if you can't hear it in my voice, um, I have a cold. <laughs> um, it started, I guess, yesterday, so, um, on Friday. And then this morning I woke up, like, I couldn't breathe, and I was just, like, filled with mucus, and my voice is weird. So, um, but the way my voice feels right now is, um, that I might lose it, so I wanted to make a video before, um, I lose it, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't lose it, because I have work on Monday. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, so this is a question corner video, yay! So, um, this is also another two-part question corner video for, um, Civil War Cat, because she asked me a couple of very different questions, um, and, I don't know, I can talk a lot about both of them, so I wanted to make it into two videos so I'm not, like, rambling on forever. Um, so this is 14A. <laughs> uh, so Civil War Cat asked me, how did you first get interested in Japan, and how did you get there the first time? So, um, I first got interested in Japan, I think it was either the summer before or after fifth grade, but, um, my cousin, who, um, is three years older than me, um, he was watching Gundam Wing at my grandma's house, and Gundam Wing is an anime, a very, very good anime, I really like it. Um, and normally he wasn't particularly nice to me, but he was letting me watch it with him, so I had really nice memories of watching that anime with him, but I didn't really know that Japan was a country, like, I never really thought about it, um, and I still didn't really until sixth grade. Like, I was watching Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon and stuff at that time. Um, and I took, like, my middle school in sixth grade, we got to have six weeks of every language. Um, and then seventh grade, we would choose one language to study for seventh and eighth grade. Um, so, yeah, so I had six weeks of Japanese. Um, I ended up choosing Latin because my parents said that Japanese wouldn't be useful in my life. You know, now that I'm living here, it's sort of ironic. But, uh... When I took that six weeks of Japanese, I, like, fell in love with the language, and, um, I, I don't know, I just really, really, really felt really drawn to it, and I knew that I wanted to live here, which is kind of weird for, what, like, an 11-year-old, I think? <laughs> so, yeah, um, so it was definitely my cousin introducing me to that anime, but then I also, I guess, my Japanese class in sixth grade. Um, I mean, I didn't really learn a whole lot. It was more like, you know, Ohio gozaimasu, tashino no mai wa ronen desu, like, the, <laughs> like, good morning, my name is Lauren, blah, blah, blah. like, really, really, really simple stuff, but, um, I really, really did fall in love with it, and I did, I tried to teach myself Japanese many, many times, but with school and homework and stuff, it was, sort of became impossible after a little while. And, um, especially after middle school, no one I knew really, like, approved of my interest in it, um, in Japan and stuff, so it made it a lot more difficult to study the language, and, I don't know, it just made it a lot more difficult. Um, now people are okay with it, and they're like, oh, that's really cool and interesting that you want to live in Japan, or that you are living in Japan, or, you know, things like that, so... I don't know, times change, high school's hard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that was, I guess, how I got interested in it. And how did I get there the first time? The town that my college is in is the sister city of, um, a town in Osaka Prefecture. Um, that there's another college, like a Japanese, formerly women's college, at, like maybe three or four years ago they switched to co-ed. Um, but every year, for like two or three weeks, students from that Japanese school would visit my university. Um, and I was one of the first people to go over there, to their university, for like, uh, to study abroad there. Um, but with like the different school years and stuff, it was really difficult, um, and they couldn't really have like an official program. Like, um, the Japanese students from their school would come during their spring break in March, Whereas we still had school, and then I went there in May and June when they had school, so, and I didn't, so it was just really interesting. But, um, 
so yeah, I got to go there then, and I studied a whole bunch of things. I had a couple different homestays. Like I studied uh, Japanese there for it was it was just a month, but um, I studied Japanese and I studied flower arranging and tea ceremony, and it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I did a whole lot of really fun stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if like I'm really difficult to understand in this video. <laughs> Cause I have a cold, um, but I wanted to make a video because I did promise that I would make a video, you know, once a week. Um, I have another video planned um, for I think sometime next week. Um, whenever my voice sounds back to normal, because <laughs> I want to like uh, talk over some footage that I have. Um, so I'll be learning. I'll be teaching you guys. I'll be teaching you guys about Valentine's Day in Japan. Um, which I have not experienced, but I did ask around at, like, the, my coworkers, and they told me about it, so, um, I'm sure many of you are curious about that, and it is interesting, um, so, yeah, so that'll be my video then, and, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to feel better, <laughs> I'm gonna go drink some juice, um, yeah, so um, thank you for your questions, Little War Cat. Um, if any of you guys have any more questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, probably sometime next week, um, I'll do um, 14B, so like the second part of Civil War Cat's question. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!